Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Shanini here. I decided to get out of the house today. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm a homebody now because I work from home and I'm trying to build an eBay business from home. So I'm like at home all the time. <laughs> but I did get a chance to get out today. I needed to um, go to uh, Walmart to get some more cranberry juice and then some things to... I'm running low on things that I make my salads with. Um, we don't really need any like grocery groceries, but we did need some milk. So I did pick that up. Um, but the rest of the stuff like lettuce and all that, I'm running low on. And so I went by there. And then I was going to go in the Dollar Tree, but honestly, I don't need to spend any more money. We've got a... Um, for the honey's birthday, um, we're planning a trip to Callaway Garden. So I want to, you know, save as much money as I can and not just be buying stuff just to be buying stuff. So I did need the salad stuff because I mainly eat that for lunch throughout the week. And, um, we did need the milk. And then I did buy a pack of like underwears or whatever because my drawers are raggedy. I need to switch them out. <laughs> I know that's probably TMI, but hey, it's the truth. But anyways, while I was out, I did go to Value Village. Had a little bit of a mishap at Value Village. They overcharged. Um, today's colors were orange and blue. And so everything that I picked up literally had a blue and orange tag. And the lady that was ringing everything up, I went to her before and today kind of made me question if I've paid more than I should have in the past. Um, Cause she rung me up the last time I went to the thrift store, but this time she overcharged me like seven dollars and some change. And um, when she charged me, you know, I paid for it and everything, but I was still feeling some kind of way about that. Cause I'm like, uh, it seems like that's a little bit more than what this was supposed to cost. And um, I've shared my um, eBay sourcing budget with you guys. I normally try to stay in like the twenty dollar range. Um, but $30, no, not unless it's just, you know, an item like with new tags or something that I find something that's rare from what I normally pick up. But anyways, I went in there for some shirts and some jeans because I'm trying to kind of transition my store into just being jeans and neckties. Um, I seem to sell those the most. And so, um, for the past few days, today is Wednesday for, for the past few days, I've been kind of like adjusting all of my listings because I haven't really made that many sales and so I said well what is wrong you know with my listings what do I need to do to change it so I just kind of went in and redid a lot of titles changed the price um I had everything free shipping but and I was putting the cost of the shipping in with the listing price but um I don't know if I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore I think I'm just gonna just you know charge shipping separately instead of just adding it in the price and um, so that I'm not overcharging or under or undercharging in shipping because I've made that mistake in the past I've undercharged for shipping and ended up having to you know take the difference out of the profit and I hate that I hate when that happens. So I said, you know what, let me try something different. Since I had everything for free shipping and it wasn't really selling as fast as I would like to, let me take the free shipping off and just charge shipping separately and see how that goes. Um, I did sell something yesterday. So I'm on my way to the post office right now to mail it off. And um, But anyway, so yeah, I, I sat in the car and I just totaled up everything because it was just an easy calculation, you know, 50% off of everything that I had in the bag. And so I got a totally different total, you know, for what I had. So I just got out the car, went back in and I went to a different cashier. I didn't see the lady that rung me up originally. And um, they were a little bit confused because the lady had rung me up for like sweaters and stuff and I didn't have any sweaters. And so they were kind of asking me like, you know, do you have sweaters and women's sweaters and all that? And I'm like, no, I only came in here for ties and jeans and, you know, so they had to pretty much re-ring everything back up and then give me the difference in cash because I had used my card to pay. And so that took a little bit of patience and, you know, patience does pay off. Like I didn't have an attitude or anything like that. I just knew that I, what I calculated was different from what she had charged me so 
they um redid everything and then gave me the difference so crazy and because this particular cashier had rung me up before um, it really made me question like oh my gosh did I pay more last time too but yeah so I'm just gonna run in here to the post office the counter is closed I normally get like a have it scanned at the desk and then have them print me out like a receipt or whatever but the last few times that I've um, sold something I didn't do that I just dropped it off instead of waiting for like the next day to mail it out which is what I normally do I just said well I can just mail it out same day and just drop it in the box so that's been working out so far hey y'all welcome back to vlog let's see I'm trying to see what colors we have for paint because um Olivia, her Girl Scout meeting is tomorrow, and one of the projects that she's supposed to be working on, I forget what badge it's for, um, but she's supposed to be working on still life. I'm sorry, y'all, if it's dark, I'm in the garage. But, um, so, her dad drew the outline of the still life that she's going to be using. Um, she just has to paint the inside, so... We had some paint left over from, I think it was her birthday or one of the weekends that my nieces and nephews came over and they did like some finger painting. So I'm just kind of seeing what color we have already. So that, you know, I'm trying to avoid going to the Dollar Tree. Hey you guys, Nina here. I'm sitting in one of the Dollar Trees, or sitting in front of one of the Dollar Trees by my house. I'm trying to eat a chicken sandwich before I go in there so that I don't go in there and come out with a whole bunch of snacks just because I'm hungry. Don't you hate that? I think that's like one of the worst things to do is to go to a grocery store or to a store that has food and you're going in there hungry. You end up picking up a bunch of stuff that you don't really necessarily need to be picking up. Hmm. So anyways, I came here because I need to hunt down some pink paint. Olivia wants to do her still life paint. Pink. And so I said, okay, well. I'll go hunt down some pink. And then we also need some paper towels. So I'm going in the Dollar Tree hoping I can just find some pink paint. And then I'm going to run over to Walmart and get like a big thing of paper towels. came in the Dollar Tree they didn't really have too many new items mm, except for the Fabuloso that was like the only new thing that they had so hopefully today I'll see some new stuff <clears throat> so and hopefully I don't spend too much money but we'll see
All right, you ready? Yeah. First word, fine. Second word, child. Mom, I have to take them real quick. You might want to get something because when you um, shine it up in the air, they'll see the words. Oh. So that's your way of telling me you cheating? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Second, uh, third word, sky. Sky. I already wrote right. I just know it's my bad. Wild. Yeah, girl, why you need to wipe your fingers off? You gonna have talkie crumbs all over your homework. Okay, that's it. Go get a paper, go wash your hands and then come back. Was it good? Wild. Oh, uh, fly. <laughs> uh. this in the mail today i already took the plastic off and who is this oh it's a well the box said it was a clear on product but i wasn't sure knew i had to do something with maybe some color so this came from pinch me um i don't think this is the typical pinch me box i think somehow some way maybe i answered a couple of questions and they uh Thought that maybe I could use some of this so cool because I need to color my hair anyways so what is this nice and easy color number two black 100% gray coverage I can't remember if I've used nice and easy before but right on time